almost 10,000 young people walk the streets each night. And the nightclub owners are eager to snap up this clientele, enticing them in with go-go dancers. Sebastian is the manager of Coco Bongo, a club renowned for its shows, which would not seem out of place in Las Vegas. Despite the international reputation of his nightclub, every night Sebastian is concerned. He faces tough competition. Eso nos da un grado de dificultad a la hora de la competencia, pero, pero nos orilla a ser mejores estrategias, a ser más inteligentes y mantener un producto lo suficientemente atractivo para poder competir a pesar de estar rodeado. The City, Senor Frogs, La Vaquita, Daddy O. This is the competition that is trying to crush Coco Bongo. All these clubs belong to the Grupo Mandala, an industry giant that is close to monopolizing the entertainment sector in Cancun. So in order to stand out, Sebastian attracts the revelers with gifts, free drinks and balloons. He also has a small army of promoters, dressed in yellow. Excuse me. Sales are made in the road. The regular admission is 80 bucks. Okay, table. bucks is for what? The, the 100 bucks. For Sebastian, the financial stakes of spring break are daunting. He hopes that his club can double its turnover in a month. In this season, the value of the tickets increases, the value of the tables increases, and according to the demand, it's how it's being controlled. So these dates are very important to maintain the good numbers of the year. There can be difficult months, like it could be October, November. Sebastian has another trick up his sleeve to keep Coco Bongo in the competition, aerial acrobatics shows. Here, revelers can party on the dance floor and take in spectacular acrobatics performances overhead. Sebastian is personally responsible for the acrobats' training. All performances rely on them. The smallest injury could jeopardize the entire season. Hay que le echen ganas y hay que cuidarse mucho, ¿no? Por aquello de las lesiones también nos puede afectar. Un poquito ahí, pero... ¿Qué te pasó? Se desgarra el músculo y el ligamento. Hay que cuidarse. Se ve tan fácil, ¿no? Cuando lo hacen. Les voy a echar un ojito a ver qué tal, cómo van. Tomorrow marks the beginning of Spring Break's biggest weekend. Everything must be in place. Este fin de semana que está entrando es, es muy importante porque es el primero y es el más... El... El primer fin de semana más fuerte del Spring Break. Esperamos recibir cerca de 5.000, 6.000 visitantes en, en un lapso menor a 3, 4 días. Entonces, es bien importante que todas las piezas estén dentro de su lugar. The acrobats come from Latin America, from Cuba and Argentina. They will spend the rest of the day perfecting their performances. Whilst Coco Bongo pins its hopes on its shows to bring in customers, as well as using touts, Sebastian also has agreements with tour operators. How are you, bro? Everything good? Everything excellent. What's good? How many Spring Breakers will you bring for today? At least 100 Spring Breakers are ready to enter the club. Okay, super good. But they don't come all together. They come walking. No, they're all different. That's why I'm here to control everything. Some come from one side to the other, but we're going to try that everyone comes well. One of the tour operator's buses has just arrived. Sebastian goes to meet them himself to make sure they don't end up at the wrong club. That way. Coco Bongo is only 20 meters away from its competitor. A través de las agencias de viajes podemos captar este tipo de grupos. Bueno, llegaron a buena hora. Falta como 20 minutos para abrir la puerta y vamos todos para arriba. Sebastian is satisfied. Tonight, Coco Bongo is almost full with nearly 2,000 spring breakers. That's a turnover of 130,000 euros on entry alone. Hey! 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 hey. The curtain closes, the tension is starting to rise. The 
These over-the-top shows featuring lookalikes dressed up as characters such as Tim Burton's Beetlejuice are what have given the club its reputation. There is also a Mexican Freddie Mercury. But the highlight of the show is the acrobatics performance. They depict an ancient battle made famous by the film 300. The Greek soldiers are fighting against the Persian army. The manager, Sebastian, never tires of the show. But when he sees the acrobats on stage without any safety nets, he always feels slightly anxious. At the end of the show, Coco Bongo turns into a nightclub. Sebastian and his team get up on stage to thank their audience.